I had the opportunity to take part in an official Genshin Impact quiz show alongside some of your favorite content creators, Anthony Chen, Tuanto, and Angelus. Here's exactly what happened, hosted by Rich W. Campbell of OTK. Enjoy the video. Hi Amber, hi Gene, my name's Rich, it's nice to meet you. Hi everybody in stream, you're probably wondering what's going on today? We have a very special treat for all of you. We are going to be doing a brand new game show. So for anyone who knows my channel, you know there's one thing that I like to do, and it's game shows. So today, we got players from all over the states to find out who the most knowledgeable about Genshin Impact truly is. We're gonna break it up into three different rounds. The first one is going to be called Survival of the Fittest. In that one, we're gonna throw questions at all of our contestants who are competing from all over the world. We also have some guests right here in the studio. And when they get the question, they're gonna have to try to answer. They're gonna have multiple choice. If they get it wrong, they're out of the route. So as soon as you get one wrong, you are no longer competing. Whoever makes it the furthest, they are going to be the winner of the first round. Now, all of these rounds, they're going to feed in to the future rounds as well. So you wanna make sure that you get a good start here in these early rounds to keep on competing. After that, we head to our second round. It's gonna be called Library Guardians. And Library Guardians, we're actually going to start to see the teams working against each other and with each other. So we're going to have all of our contestants inside of the venue competing against everybody who is in teams competing online. All the online players are gonna to try to take down the Genshin content creators who are here so they can make it through to the next round. After that, we have one more round. That one is called a Rush to Answer. Now this one you're gonna be pretty familiar with. This is the classic format that every single person is going to have a buzzer in front of them. Whoever hits it first, they get to answer the question. If they get it wrong, a steal is available to everyone else. So we can actually see somebody get it wrong. We could potentially see everybody get it wrong. So those are the three different formats that are going to happen. And the question that will be answered with all of these different formats is who is the OTG? Who is going to know the most about Genshin? I'm very excited to get it started. And I'm very excited to introduce you to everybody who is going to be competing in all of these formats. And I'm very excited to be back in the WePlay studio. I gotta say, this is an upgrade to my dingy apartment where I can't even turn the lights on without assistance from my roommate. But let's see where everybody's gonna be competing from. We have people from all over the states competing. As we mentioned earlier, they actually signed up and you can sign up as well if you wanna compete in the next game show. We're gonna have that link in the chat right now. But let's take a look at all the contestants and all the teams who are gonna be playing online. Oh, wow, that's a lot of people. Hi, everybody. How are you guys doing? It's nice to see all of you. You can see behind me right now the faces of everybody who's going to be competing. Oh, they're, hi! Hi, everybody. They're going to be competing. Uh, they're broken up in teams of four. We're going to take a look at those team names as well, and then we're going to see who's going to be sitting in these seats right next to me. God, that is, this set is gorgeous. I am absolutely so excited to get into all of the different formats that we're gonna have today. And I'm also excited for all of the teams. You can see them right now on your screen. We got teams like High Voltage, Gotcha Support Group, Team Sunfish, Scuffed. Honestly, if I made a team name, it would probably be something like that myself. But you might be asking yourself, everybody who's playing online, who are they gonna be competing against? I saw the four ominous desks right next to you in the studio. Well, let's take a look at the Genshin content creators who are gonna be playing from this WePlay studio against all of the people who are playing online in those 10 teams that you saw broken up on the screen. 10 times four, is that 40? Thank God this isn't a math quiz show because I would have to use Google if I was gonna be answering any math questions. But now you get to see the lovely faces of the people who are here in the studio. Let's start off with Atsu. Atsu, welcome. Hi, Rich. Thank you for welcoming me on. 
As you guys know, my name is Atsu, also known as Asian Guy Stream. People like to label me as the Walmart Anthony Chen, but today I'm here to show you guys I am the real deal. So yes, and I also hecking love Genshin Impact. I feel like you have an advantage too, because not only do you heckin' love Genshin Impact, but you've also, you're pretty familiar with quiz shows. Mm, I am, I have done a few Genshin Millionaires myself, so maybe some of these questions I may have written them, I haven't actually written them, but I am pretty confident <laughs> that I'm going to absolutely obliterate my, my colleagues today, so. Well, that's, Matsu. that's a great way to introduce everyone else who uh, is gonna absolutely obliterate. Angela, do you think you're gonna get obliterated? I am scared. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Angela. You might know me as Angelus. I love Genshin Impact. And I also drank way too much coffee earlier. That, that's usually my strategy. Yeah, that's yeah. what I do to get started for every show. Oat milk? I am an oat milk. Sometimes a little bit of almond milk. I like to switch it up from time to time. There we but go. we're going to be switching up quite a bit with all these different formats. And Anthony, how are you feeling about the formats that we're throwing up against all of you? Hi, I'm Anthony. I love Genshin Impact. Oh, sorry, what was your question? I have no idea what I asked. That was I, I, that was such a beautiful oh intro. My. I feel like that smoked through. I've been oh, practicing. Man. I've been Woo. practicing. So how do you feel about the formats? Do you think that there's any area that you might excel in? I think my goal here is to not get last place. Not get last place. Well, there are a whole bunch of people that you are competing against. <laughs> last place would, would kind of sting. Tonto, do you think you're going to get last place? Actually, no, I'm going to make sure he gets last place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Rivalries already forming. Now, if you guys do remember at home, I said that the first one, we could actually have someone get out very early, right? If you get one wrong, you are out of the first round. One question could be enough to just eliminate you from that first round. You could fall behind very quickly. Are there any areas of Genshin knowledge that you lack? Nothing. I am flawless. I'm absolutely okay. flawless with all Genshin right, because all right. I love Genshin Impact. Right. Look at this. Game. Does anybody have a weakness here? Numbers. I will not remember, like, math. So math, math is your weakness? Uh, yes. I don't like reading. Oh, man, you and oh. me both. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how about lore in general? If you don't, if you're not a big reader, did, did Paimon tell you everything that you need to know? Did you just listen to all of the audio while you played the game? Or have you watched lore videos? Is lore going to be difficult? There, there's a reason to skip buttons in the game. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what do you think your strongest area of Genshin knowledge is going to be? Ooh, I am very passionate about the characters. I yeah. love the character. I'm a Hu Tao enthusiast, and I'm very excited to just ace my one question about her. Okay, let me let me think of a. I, I'm thinking of sample questions right now. Oh gosh, really on the spot. How old is Zhang Li? <laughs> oh. Oh, um, that's really interesting because that also involves numbers, which is another one of my weaknesses. How old is Zhang Li? Yeah. Old enough for me to call him granddaddy. Uh, okay. oh, Correct my. answer was old enough. That was uh, he's he is super old. He is super super old. He's like 10 million years old, but. The questions are going to be much harder than that. That question that I came up with on the top of my head, that was easy. That was child's play. Zhang Li is very old. We would have accepted that. But we are going <laughs> to, in this round, have multiple choice. So that might help you quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to have, you know, standard A, B, C, D that you're going to be picking from. And do you think multiple choice is going to be enough to kind of jog your memory when you see some of these questions? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like 25% chance to get it right. Yeah, well, you, you don't have multiple choice the whole time. So this is kind of, oh. this is the safety net to start you off and, and get that memory going. And uh, I, I'm looking at some of these questions right now. Some of them are actually quite tricky. You, you have to know quite a bit about uh, your cryo units as we start off. Oh, oh no. Round. Thankfully, we're all quite smart here, right? And you're also competing against a giant group of competitors. Oh, man. Guys, wave if you think that you can beat all of the content creators who are in the studio. Don't wave. Uh, wave. They're, they're all waving. Mm -mm. They're, all, they're literally all waving. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. I am excited to get this one started. In just a few moments, we'll be able to dive into this first round, ask the first question, and see who is going to pull ahead. So, we talked about the first round, just to give you guys a reminder, too, because there are 
going to be three rounds here today. As we do get over to the second round, that's when we're actually going to start forming some of these teams. You actually might even get to play. Uh, you're going to be playing against some of the folks on the screen behind us. But as we get to the third round, you might start to make some alliances. We're going to get some buzzers in front of you. You're going to be playing against the timer in Rush to Answer. But there's a whole bunch of quiz gaming to happen here today. I am very excited to see when you guys do get in the teams with some of the folks playing from all around the states. Timers stress me out, though. When we do get to the point that you're, you guys are going to be fighting up against the timer when you're actually going head-to-head, -head -head, that would get me kind of nervous. But we are getting that started very shortly here, making sure everybody at home is ready to play all of our competitors around the states. And then we'll dive into that first round. I don't have a prediction of who I think is going to win yet. I'm a completely <laughs> new. I, do, I think nobody here is perfect at all. Excuse me? I don't think anybody no. is perfect. I think anybody could win and anybody could fall. But it's time to find out as we get into our first round. It is time for survival of the fittest. Our first question is going to be asked, and we will start to see if anybody really does have what it takes to get all of the way into it. It actually is starting in just two minutes. I just got word from production. And the reason for that is because everybody is going to be playing on the quiz app. You can actually download it. And you compete, can compete in a whole bunch of game shows like this that are going to be happening. So if at home, at any point during the show, you think you have what it takes to take down any of the competitors, jump in and play. There's going to be plenty of opportunities for you to play in the future. The next one's coming up towards the end of October, and that one is going to be completely global. That's how everybody on your screen right now actually got into the action and is going to be competing against their favorite content creators. That's pretty hype. I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, just walking into a giant library like this, I'm kind of nerding out just a little bit. But Atsu, I feel like you're starting to get nervous. I can see it on him. <laughs> he's scared of the competition. It, a little bit. It's a tough house. He's, yeah, I'm not scared of these three, but those people up there. Hey, what do you say? Hey. The wild cards. Hey, whoa. Whoa. No. I've been playing since no. 1.0, okay? I'll have you know that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Better watch out. Has everybody been playing since one? When, when did everybody get started? You've been playing since 1.0. Anthony, when did you start? Uh, 1.5. Okay. He's losing. All right. Yeah. I'm an underdog. I'm sorry. Falling behind. <laughs> Angela, <It's, it's> like, <laughs> when did you start playing? 1.2. This is an underdog story oh right here. You 1.0 enjoyer? Day one, unfortunately. Oh my. Day one. Day, day wow. one. I was day three. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And then I didn't. Uh, I didn't realize that Venti was a good unit at first. I thought I didn't like realize, and then I, I had to wait until the like the repeat the to, oh. to actually get the C6. I, I had it, I had like a standard Venti, but now Venti's kind of kind of one of my Rich, my go. How many characters have you C6? I have every character C6 besides the besides my Kazwa because I didn't realize that the rerun banner was about to end, and I didn't C6 my Kazwa, and I am going to beg for a C6 Kazwa throughout the duration of this show. <laughs> But I don't have much time to beg for a C6, Kazua, because we're getting into the first questions. We are going to see who is going to take over survival of the fittest. Right. The questions are going to be popping up on your screen so you can play along at home. Make sure that you do hit that QR code so you can jump into the action as well. The first question is, which of the following ingredients may be dropped if you defeat the cryo whooper flower? I said it a little bit too fast because there's a beautiful animation there. So you guys have a slight head start, but you're going to be able to see it. Wow, that's actually gorgeous. I speak too fast. So if you did hear at home, you might be canoodling right now, but you are going to have multiple choices pop up here as well. The rules are popping up on the screen right now. I already described them to you, but if you want to read along at home, you make sure that you're playing the rules the right way. We are going to be throwing out these questions and this is a test question. So we got the test question. How many long tentacles does Mimo have? 
What? Huh? <laughs> it's just a test question. What's that? Mimo is the Hoyer Lab mascot. Ah, too much. I knew Perfect. that. Fraudulence. I knew that. Fraudulence, right there. Oh, I saw. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, uh, obviously. I just pulled ahead. What was the question? <laughs> Ten seconds left. So this one does not count. You're not going to get eliminated if you do not know it. You will be 100% fine as the timer runs down. We are going to see what the correct answer is. Seems like Atsu probably knows the correct answer. I know everything. Oh my God. All right, this is the first question that does count. Which of the following ingredients may be dropped if you defeat the cryo over flower? Nectar, damage mask, slime, condensate, or luminescent pollen? Just a few seconds left here to lock that in. So easy, guys. Why are you, why you look shook? I, uh, the well, it's, 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 you know, it's hard to read. <laughs> Luminescent pollen, whipper flower nectar, damage mask, or slime condensate. Oh, that one's fine. Oh, so easy. So that one, that one is already gone. Now, while which of the following NPCs gifted the Saren tea pot to the traveler? Oh, so easy. And that is going to be Zhang Ling. Madam Ping, Zhang Li, or Yan Fei? Please. It's Zhang Li, guys. Please. Yeah, write, write it down, write it down. Zhang Li, yeah, yeah it's Zhang right Li, definitely Zhang Li. Zhang Li. Right, Zhang Li. <laughs> okay, Rich, you know so this one, right? I, I did know it. Which of the following foods has a restorative effect on stamina? Northern smoked chicken, crab roe tofu, goulash, or pile them up? Come on, you got it. repeat those options? Northern smoked chicken, crab roe tofu, goulash, pile them up. Thank you. They're gonna have to do better than that. Now we're on to question four. Not too much time here. What name did Kamisato Ayaka give to her favorite Tamari when she was a child? Ushi, Mori Wakamoru, Torumaru, Paimon. These questions are not easy at all. So they're also getting harder as we go. Keep in mind, all of the folks behind us are getting eliminated as they get them wrong. Uh, what is the effect of Razor's passive talent, Wolven Sprint? Decreases claw and thunder cooldown, decreases sprinting stamina consumption, decreases uh, claw and thunder cooldown. Uh, I, I think this one's by a certain amount. And then the other one is decreases sprinting stamina cost. Atsu is locked in. You you do look really confident right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Which of the following NPCs can you buy horsetail from? Oh, I remember spamming this. Oh, oh, Flora, oh. <laughs> Herbalist, Chloris, or Sue, Air Nyang. Huh? What? <laughs> what? Horsetail? Horsetail. Horsetail. Let's all put B. Let's all put B. Are you sure? No, absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> Amber's Baron Bunny has a long lineage. From which generation did Amber stop counting? Oh, yeah, I would not know this one. It's the 193rd, the 593rd, the 793rd, the 893rd. I don't even know if I said those numbers the correct way. That's how <laughs> lost I am on that question. That one is not easy at all. If, if you know that, I am very surprised. What is the name of the cryo hypostasis? Oh. I know this one. I, I, I don't know this because I kill it so fast. Oh. <laughs> Elif, <laughs> Beth, Dalith, or Ian? I know their full government names. How? I'm just built different. That That is such a unique piece of knowledge. I, uh, I, I should know funny. this. I should as well. I don't I know this. <laughs> Well, take a guess. You do have the multiple choice for a reason. Mm -hmm. Now, moving on to the ninth question. We have 10 questions total. In which of the following locations is the unusual Hillitrol most unlikely to be found in? Cape of Oath, Windrise, Stormbearer Mountains, or Dragonspine? I actually know that one. So I have the answer in front of me. 
<laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> I actually think with deductive reasoning, you should be able to figure that one out. But we're on to the 10th question. The final question. What are the ingredients needed to cook the oh. sweet madam? I love this one. Two fowl and two sweet flowers, two fowl and two apples, one fowl and one sweet flower, or one fowl and one apple. God. I, I truly, God. any cooking questions, I would get wrong 100% of the time. I love Genshin chicken, so I know this one. <laughs> Genshin chicken is yes. your, your, your preferred Sweet meal? Madame, yes, Genshin chicken. I, I feel like I spam cooked a bunch of food at one point. I spent like mm. a day doing it, and I haven't, I haven't cooked since. All right, as you can see on the right-hand side of your screen right now, we're taking a look at some of the teams. We're going to be looking at their performance, and we're actually going to be able to see who the the leading teams are these points are going to be really important as we move along as well because all of the content creators who are here in the studio are going to be picking from these teams to compete alongside of them so you really do want to make sure that you are getting the questions right in these early rounds but uh now that you guys have seen the first round I mean, how do you feel about the difficulty um you know i'm holding on help so far, so good. Multiple choice. I think the most challenging thing is I've had to acquire my first pair of glasses ever to uh, <laughs> answer the don't, don't worry, as, as, we, uh, as we get into the other rounds too. So this right now, if you, if you are watching at home, one more time, we will, have, we will have a landing page, a QR code and everything, so you can actually use the app as well. And in future weeks, you can win some prizes. You can compete using that app. So. That, that round was a little bit quicker because we're playing against everybody at the same time. We will be able to slow down, make sure that you clearly know all of your options, and maybe you can even get rid of your glasses. But does anybody feel like some cracks in their Genshin knowledge are starting to show? I definitely did not get 100%. <laughs> He said that he was perfect, yeah. but... Oh, that was my chance. There is perfection in imperfection. That's beautiful. Sure, yeah. sure. Thank you. There we go. We're going to take just a moment to make sure that they can freshen up on some of the areas that they are in 100% on. And then we're going to jump straight in to round number two. Everyone, welcome back. My name is Rich. You might know me as the Genshin guy from OTK. That is what they call me. And today we have a special treat for anybody who's just tuning in. We have a brand new quiz show. We got three rounds and this is where it really starts to heat up because joined with me in this gorgeous studio in Los Angeles, California. We have four Genshin content creators who are now going to be competing against a whole bunch of folks who signed up online to play against them. This is when we actually are gonna see everybody from home going head to head with the content creators. And if you wanna join the next one, you can right now, but also if you want a chance to win some free Genshin goodies, you can follow the link in the chat that my mods are going to be linking. And there's a QR code right over there. Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> so if you do want to have a chance to grab some of the free Genshin goodies, you can uh, use that QR code. And also you can make sure to compete in the next one. We took a look at the first round. We didn't actually get to go over the answers, but I think it's time that we take just a little bit of a peek at what the second round is going to All look right, let's like do it. and jump right in. I said, this is where it gets spicy. Everybody, it's time for Library Guardians. Now, we're gonna have just a little bit more time to really let these questions sink in. For the first round, we were going rapid mode. We were playing with everybody all around who had that app downloaded. Now, we are going to be able to just slow it down a little bit as we get into the second round. But after getting to look at that first round, do you think 
that everybody who's playing from home, you think that they actually have a chance against you guys? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. Probably. Yeah. No chance. Maybe. Maybe. No chance. You may have noticed that we have a less faces eliminated. now on the screen behind us. Some people did get eliminated in that first round, so you are already competing against people who were able to make it the distance in the survival of the fittest. We have the four best teams now with us, and in this second round, they will be competing to go to the next round. So basically how it's gonna work, we are going to have you guys answering all the questions and the teams answering the questions. If you manage to win, you will be eliminating some of the teams behind you. Oh, what a shame. Sorry. If they're able to take you down, we may see all four teams go through. So it's time to see who knows more about Genshin, the content creators or everybody at home. Oh boy. Or me. <laughs> I, I think I would have gotten probably five out of the, the 10 bad. questions in, in the first. I, I was pretty good. The second that the cooking question started to pop up, that was when I crumbled. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've made one dish and that's it. But you're looking at the faces of everybody who signed up. Let's see how they are able to do. We are going to jump in with the first question right here, right now, right here, right now. Uh. <laughs> <Good> <laughs> I just say it's still going to that. <laughs> this Mondstadt citizen is renowned to be the most distinguished graduate of the Sumeru Academy in the past two centuries. That's easy. easy. That's easy. Okay, then I won't give you the multiple choice. Come on. Wait, wait, wait can I just <laughs> give you the multiple choice? Kaya, Lisa, Amber, oh, it's working. or Albedo. This is child's play. Albedo. It is Amber. It's quite obvious. Oh, yeah, we're on a team. We're oh. on a team? What? Yeah, you're on a team. Oh, What's you guys you wasted all your time. What's the answer? Wait, wait, team besties. Team besties. Five, right. six, seven, eight. Oh, you, Atsu, you left me oh. Team besties. Besties. Who's answering for you for this one? I got it. Atsu. Or Atsu. It's, us. Hmm. it's Lisa. I do that one. I second that. I need to tease I also me, which I know is correct. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. <laughs> That's pretty cool how you did that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> the correct answer is Lisa. But in the future rounds, you might want to actually take that time to discuss amongst yourself, just like these teams are. The teams are probably all in a voice, uh, voice call right now, making sure that they are locking in the right answer. Now, let's go to the second question. Which book did Ella Musk write? Ooh. Cultural, cultural customs. Hilatural ballad selection, draft hilatural ballads, or all of the above. What do we say? Uh, um, what? I feel like she is a very smart girl, and I think she wrote a lot of things. Really? And I also I feel like thing. I would say if anything, it's one thing. Well, she, she's just a you right? no way she wrote, like, A is novels. the answer. It's Wait, a, a, a. A. it's done. Right? Is A your final answer? Oh. A for Anthony Chen. A yeah. for Anthony Are we and sure? Atsu. And Angela. Angela, okay. And, uh, you, you got me, you got Alonto. me. The correct answer is, this is your fault, Ant. What? <laughs> You're already turning against each other? What? Right. That, we're the correct I'm answer is over. C. <laughs> I knew it. This is your fault. Why didn't you say anything if you knew it? <laughs> you guys, we're besties. We can't, we can't. You're sabotaging us. Oof. You can't crumble now. Growing. What? Your besties is falling growing. apart. No, no, let's bring it together, bring it together. Come on. We're we at question two, and already <laughs> you have begun to turn on one another. No. The third question is all ready to go. Okay. Which person would Ye be happy to have among the Ye publishing house oh. if this person wasn't an important member of the Tri Commission? The correct, or the, the four go choices on. are. <laughs> yeah, the correct go answer. Right <laughs> we have Kamisato Ayaka, Kamisato Ayato, Hujo Sara, Artoma. It's, it's. Oh. What are we saying here? I, I thought it was going to be Goro. What? Is Aika? It's B. Yeah, we, are we out of time? It's We're going to go for B for bestie. Kamisato Ayato, to lock it in. What is she? Wait, I Aika? Ayato. I oh. oh no, I have no thoughts. You, you are going with, you all, all agree with B? Are you sure? What? B, Kamisato Ayato. I, I. They're besties. Who, who do you think it is? I thought they hated each other. Huh? No, they really? don't. Really? He doesn't do quests. B for besties! Oh. <laughs> Lock it in! 
The correct answer is Ayaka. Ah! I told you. <laughs> I was like, it's Ayaka. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my God. Oh. I, they, they hate each other. Oh, oh no. Well, you guys are about to have something in common with all of them with how this round. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Dude, that's a little, 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 oh, damn. We're jumping in. We're jumping in. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, well, we'll have to see if everybody at home is oh, holding up better God. as we jump oh, into damn. the fourth question. Which character is famous for dreadful handwriting and a hatred for carrots? Uh. Chong Yoon, Ito, Deluke, or Jing Chu? Isn't it a razor? Oh, <laughs> I know this one. Deep lore. <laughs> this is really deep lore. This is like. Uh, so I know this one. You, why do you know for Sing Cho. Really? Yeah. He Remember, he had to work on his calligraphy in that quest. Yes, yes. His handwriting yes, sucks. Yes. What about the carrots? I agree. I don't care. I don't know. That's a weird quirk that he probably has. <laughs> He's. That's like his opposite color palette. So I can see orange is not going. Exactly. Through. You're coping really hard. I am not. Okay, what do you want to pick? You. I'll believe in you. Yeah, do you want to pick? I'll believe in you. I, right. this, I was memeing the last few rounds, okay? D for Sing Chou. This? Yeah, you, you were just you trying to keep don't the competition break my trust. on you know, their I, I want them to have a chance, you know? I don't bully <laughs> students. Go. Well, you've turned it around. D is the correct Ah, yes! Remembering that quest was pretty clutch. I yes. do not remember the carrot thing. Yeah, I don't either. I do not know where the carrot thing came from. I really do not know. But you managed to rally in the fourth question. We still have quite a few more to go. We're not even at our halfway mark. We're gonna have 12 questions inside of this round. So you got plenty more questions to work with. The fifth question is, how did Lisa obtain her vision? Four choices. It appeared, uh, okay, so it just appeared on her. It appeared on her hand after she thought of something. It got activated after she held it. She suddenly found it on her waist. So, chest. Activated. Why? And activated or activated. waste? How? Because electric, I don't know, lightning. <laughs> <laughs> what is your, what, what letter is that? C. C, okay. C for correct. That's what I'm saying. All right. C I'll... for champion. You had yes, me sir. <laughs> I don't think, it, no visions activate, right? They all yeah. just, they all appear. The correct answer yeah. is B. Oh. Oh, I, I think I think C is uh, the only one that's like impossible, right? Uh, yeah. Isn't it only like the uh, yeah. that get uh, active? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what was B? What was B? What what was B? Yeah, what was B? And it appeared on her hand after she thought of something. Oh, she oh, manifested okay. it. Yeah, yeah. It was like a manifested. eureka moment. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh man, we should have gone. For yeah, that's, how you, uh, that's how you get them. Well, personally, I've never had a vision. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we 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 are seeing the lack of vision in some of these answers. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> All right, we're at the halfway mark. Let's see how you guys do in question number six. This character is ready to take off his slash her lunch for the sake of ancient books. I thought that was going somewhere else for a second. Take off lunch for the sake of ancient books. Xing Chu is in the running again. Mona, Zhang Li, and Yan Fei. Who is the book nerd? I think it's Mona. I want to say Mona. Yan Fei. I think it's Yan Fei. Yan Fei. Really? That's Yan Fei here. Why? Yan Fei, the yeah. lawyer, reads so many books. Yeah, but are they all ancient? Yeah. Oh, it's not going to be anyone. Astrology, ancient. I don't think it's, it's not going to be Mona or Zhongli, right? I Shane think Cho it's Yan Fei. Yan Fei never wants for Yan food. Fei. Mona Yan always Fei. wants for food. Yes, Mona is always hungry because yes. she's poor. Okay, you want to write She would be willing to give up a meal. Exactly. She would not be willing to give up a meal. Oh, so what's your final answer? Yan Fei. Fighting. Yan Fei. Have you agreed on Yan Fei? Yes. No, but put it down. Okay. Yan Fei. The correct answer is. Oh my God. Mona. You said Mona, but it's a team sport. It is a team sport. A mother knows. Oh my God. I'm Mona. I'm molding. Mona was I'm the correct answer. Right the next stars, I feel like yeah, that was. I, I thought it was so easy. It's like skip lunch. Okay, Mona. You were, you yeah, were right in the beginning. I, I agree. I think we're overthinking it, boys. I think you guys are overthinking just a little bit. We are. Now, let's see if that happens in the seventh question. Uh, this character is a talented strategist. His slash her, uh, they're renowned for written directives that often look like a guidebook. Often look Hope like the strategies. Go away. So you got some of the new characters thrown into the mix. You got Yai Miko at C, and you got Kokiomi at D. That's Kokomi. I think it's Kokomi. 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 
What, what was option one and two? So you, oh, we got new Dendro characters for option one and two. Okay. Oh, Tignari and Kalei. I'm literally trying to help you right now. Okay. What? Oh. No, no, I know this was D. You guys are correct. D for definitely correct. Yes. Kokomi. You trick me. I tried to help that time. I feel bad for you guys right now. Right. You're getting demolished. Right. You, so you right. did get that one right. You got it right. You got that one right. Yes. So where, where are we ready for war. question? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Where does the traveler meet Jing Chu for the first time? You guys knew a bunch of random Jing Chu lore yeah, for a second. Yeah, why is he still popular today? Jing Chu is like, I mean, he's a meta pick. Does see the options. So the options are the tea house, the, the Yangsheng tea house, the uh, kiosk, the Wanwen book house, the and house. At the Fiyun Commerce Guild. Are you sure? It's the book house. It's the book right? house because no. we're returning a book and then he yeah, appears and he's yeah, Axel yeah, Snobby yeah. and he's like, look at me. You know so a lot about You're locking in C? I remember that I'm too. locking in the book house. That is the correct answer. Wow. If we keep getting questions about Xing Chu, we're fine. Yeah. Okay. How are you guys feeling? We got th uh, four questions left. I'm feeling great. If or, more Xing Chu questions. still win. I have no idea. I don't know. We'll have to see how everybody's doing they at home. They look very confident, and I don't like that. They're like laughing Are every time laughing? you guys get a question wrong. Hey, they're stream sniping. What the? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to be jumping into that ninth question in just a second. Which of the following items drop in the slumbering court? This, this one, I, I think you guys got this. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know. Tenacity of the Millilith. I've never had to say that one in real life, but I have a lot of them. Husk of Opulent Dreams. The Martial Artist or the Gambler. Oh, no. What is the I name of the domain again? Five star ones. Of which one? The domain. Like, oh, Slumbering Court. Oh, slumbering Court. Which one is oh. that? Okay, so the issue with this one is I know the five star drop. Choose, choose one. What is it? Go. What's the five star drop? Isn't it Thunder Feather? Isn't it that domain? But then we don't know if it's an artist. Lock it it's in. martial artist. It is. Martial it, artist, lock I, it in. It's the husk of opulent oh, dreams. What is that? Uh, that's the geo set. Yeah, it's the geo set. It's the geo oh, set. For Goro, I'm, so I'm an I'm an I'm an Edo main. I was in there. I had to get stuff oh, from Goro in there so, too. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I. Oh man, that's my main. You guys actually hurt my feelings with that one. I thought you had it. I blame Angela for I'm that. I'm sorry. One. It was me. I threw. It's okay. It's okay. We have three more questions, so that means everybody else gets to throw now. So you can all throw an equal amount. Yeah, three more times. Yeah. Did everybody throw once? Oh, I threw many times. I, 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 we have three more questions. Let's right, see let's how throw. you guys are able to do. Which NPC does Zhang Li often go to listen to stories from? Oh. So. Oh, I don't know his name. What's his name? The storyteller. One. I know his it's name. It's the storyteller. <laughs> the guy that's <laughs> that's his name. <laughs> Catherine. Iron Tongue Chan? It's Iron Tongue. I yeah. Think so I agree. It's, it's lock it in. Iron submit, tongue. submit. It doesn't matter. It's Iron Tongue. I agree. Iron tongue. That's the only submit. Asian name on that list. Well, Bauer is there. Well, wrong with that? Bauer is yes. known for Iron Tongue. Time is, oh, is up, and you are correct. Tongue. I think it's Iron Tongue. It's Iron Tongue. Iron you are correct. It is Iron Tongue. I, that that was a hard one. I'm actually surprised. I feel like that was the hardest question I have seen so far really? in this round. Yeah, I had really? no idea what that was. No, Iron I, Tongue. Immediately, oh, immediately, what that tongue really? do? What that tongue do? Tell stories. I, yeah. I guess you guys are just... It's like I'm deduction. <laughs> you, know, you know very specific things, and I know very specific things. It's almost like I should be on your team. I'd be able to round out the... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got two more questions left. If you're just tuning in right now and you're unsure how this format is working, just want to remind you, behind me, I have a whole bunch of folks who signed up with the app. You can do the same thing if you want to compete in future weeks of this show. We got four teams of four, but... This round will only send some of them through. They're competing against everybody here in the arena. How many teams are going to make it through? We're going to find out after just two more questions. Do you guys feel like you're winning? Let's no, say yes. I think they're <laughs> all going to go through. <laughs> all four teams I are going to go through? I think all four teams are going to go through. What happened Listen, to being we perfect? We can pull through, guys. The, perf through. the perfection in me is saying I should let them all through. I should let them win. Oh. Very, very good. Okay. Well, well elevate the people up. around you me. Up real quick. He really <laughs> did. <laughs> he changed. <laughs> what do you say? Just a little <laughs> After starting a Genshin quiz show. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we find out because we have those final two questions. Question number 11. In one of the endings 
of the first Noel hangout event, you can find her in the library studying this subject using a sword, alchemy, cooking, or love novels. Uh, I don't play hangouts. No, I, 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 th I actually <laughs> didn't play hangouts yeah, either. I did not do it. No, I did not do that. Uh, That's what I he do. He doesn't use a sword. That's for sure. the Noel hangouts before Jade. Yeah, I don't remember what was <laughs> ending, though. Caveat. It's it either or the cooking I don't even know if sword. I got that ending. I don't know why. I feel like it's remember harder. cooking, but don't okay, call um, me. You got to pick one. Let's say you, cooking. Okay, okay, go. Can you repeat the options again? That's Using a sword, alchemy, cooking, or love novels. I yeah, don't think yeah. it's love novels. I think it's sword. Because she okay. wants to be part of the guild, right? She wants Guys, to you got to lock I one. Know. You're out of time. The sword. Please don't tell me it's cooking. It's cooking. Is it it's cooking? love novels. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's love novels. It's just like me. <laughs> I, I actually, hangouts, that's, if I had that answer hangout questions, that, was that, that hangout. would be pretty, that would be pretty tough. Well, <clears throat> I've not done the hangouts, so. <laughs> I've not done the hangouts either. <sighs> um, I think anyone here has. Nope. Not I. Well, now everybody. I home, love Genshin. You know where you need <laughs> to perform. So, one question is going to determine the fate of the four teams behind me right now. Let's see who is able to get it correct. Is it going to be our content creators or is it going to be the folks at home? Question number 12 of round number two. On her first, oh wait, I'm building suspense. Oh, oh. oh. this one question. <laughs> this one question may change the fate of our gamers here today, live from the We Play studio. Oh. Uh. On her first visit to Inazuma, Klee decided to write a story. What is the name of that story? Let's go, Dodoko. Let's fight, Dodoko. <laughs> oh. Let's swim, Dodoko. Or none of the above. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> first one until you hit me with the none of the above. I think it's go. Because you can write books? I think it's oh, it probably doesn't... let's go as well. I agree with go. that. It's go. It's Would go. it be let's, let's zoom fight? in here? Does she know what fighting is? Actually. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's let's go. Just <laughs> Never mind. for the sake of being able to go, let's go! Let's go, Doroko. Let's go. The correct answer is sadly. No, still zero. Let's go, Dodoko. Let's, yeah. Let's go, Dodoko. Let's go, Dodoko. One for yes. Two. So now we are going to actually yes. be able to calculate where the chips have fallen, who has managed to come out on top. Obviously, you guys could see what everybody here answered, but we couldn't actually see what everybody was answering at home. Were they able to pull ahead or did they fall behind? We're going to have everybody, all the production here at the We Play Studio, actually calculate all of it and do all that mathematics to see who is in the front and who will move on to the next round so we're going to be going into that third round with whichever teams qualified and everybody here and that third round is probably going to be pretty difficult after what we've seen here because the third round does not have multiple choice uh oh Ruh -roh. now you can choose not to answer you are going to have a buzzer and kind of with how it works you almost get multiple choice if people start getting it wrong because if somebody gets it wrong they buzz in they get it wrong it's available for all of you guys to steal. Mm -hmm. So you basically have an opportunity to say, okay, I'm gonna go now and you know one of the wrong answers at least. So process of elimination might be able to get you through. Mm -hmm. And also based off of what we do see here and who does qualify, each of you will be choosing one of these teams to be your allies as we go to the next round. So you're not gonna be completely alone. You're gonna have some help as we do go to this third round. How are you guys feeling, though? I feel... Well... <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, let's go! Let's go oh, We're doing great. We'll see on the third round. We're here. We're here. Okay. Guys, we have the results. So we, we are seeing that every single one of the student teams has managed to break <laughs> that 20-point area. My voltage managed to get 44 get? points. Oh, right. like, as you can see, you, you can't actually see how many you got up there, but I'm going to announce to everybody at home oh, no. that you guys oh, got no. 24 points. 
<laughs> Which means that you are in second to last place. Oh, you did oh, 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 yes, oh, yes. You got 23 points, so you did beat that team, and I'm pretty sure you just eliminated them. Uh, let's go. <laughs> well, Sorry. I, I mean, let's go. Dodico is probably the question that actually got you guys there. <laughs> that was the play. That was the play of the game. Oh, man. Well, that means that you have three pretty difficult teams to, to beat here, but luckily you're going to be working with them. We're going to find out who is going to make alliances with who right after this. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We have a whole bunch more game show to do. We've already made it through two rounds, and now we have a big switch up as we enter the third. My name is Rich. Thank you for joining me for this brand new game show where we find out who knows the most about Genshin Impact. And thank you very much for signing up all over the states to compete in this show. And thank you to everybody, too, who's using the QR code right now to make sure that you have a chance to grab some free Genshin goodies. So you can just grab out your phone if you're watching right now at your PC, snag a picture of that, and instantly hop right there. But you might be asking yourself, after the dust has settled from the first two rounds, what is going to happen? So we started with four teams in the second round. We had 10 teams when we started in the first, eliminated quite a few of them. We got to the top four teams, and they all beat you except for one. <laughs> Every single team who was playing from home beat our influencers except for one team. That team has been eliminated, and now everybody in the arena is going to be working alongside the folks from home for this third and final round. Atsu, who are you going to be working with? I have chosen to team up with Team Gacha Support Group because I feel like I belong there. I feel like I belong there as well. I, I, I really do. Do you remember how many points Gacha Support Group was able to get in the first they one? They came second place. Okay. All right. So a pretty strong ally that you're going to have. Angela, who are you working with? Oh, I never thought you'd ask. I'm working with Team High Voltage because we are electrifying. Oh, dice of okay. cringe. Oh. <laughs> dice of cringe. Oh, no. I'm funny. I thought it was funny, and they had 44 points, right? Which is nothing to laugh at. Oh, okay. We, uh, this you is have everything to one. lose now. <laughs> everything to gain. Everything to Okay, lose. and nothing to lose. That's them. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, man, you better watch it. Watch it. Rock bottom. <laughs> Wait, so there, there was only one team left, so does that mean you We're guys are team. making an alliance as yes, well? Yes, sir. We joined. With Team Hard Pity, I believe. Yes, Hard Pity. We're with Hard Pity. Many times. That, hey, man, I mean, Hard Pity is a pretty good place to be. Yes. <laughs> you're about to turn it around. <laughs> yes. Something will happen. Go, it's it's going to happen. It can't, it can't, can't go downhill <laughs> from there. <laughs> Let's see. Are we only going to see everybody go up and up from here as we dive in to round number three? So for this round, it is called Rush to Answer, and this is probably the most stressful round imaginable. We are, have a buzzer now in front of each and every one of you. I'm going to ask a question, and then the first team to buzz in is going to be able to give their answer. So now you guys can see that uh, there are quite a few faces on your screen. Each of these teams, you already heard who they're going to be working with in the studio, which content creator they're going to be working with. They are going to be able to talk in Discord and actually figure out what answer they want to go with. So now basically everybody is going to be playing against. Uh, the, each team has a content creator. One has two, hard pity, gonna have both of these folks. And now you're all going against each other to see which team is going to make it all of the way to the end. So make sure that you communicate with your team before you buzz in, because if you get it wrong, you will not have another chance to try to answer. Now, with five people, you no longer need that multiple choice, right? You guys should be able to do it without any problem at all. You guys ready to jump into this uh, final round here? Let's set it. I'm ready. Do Let's it. go, ready. team. Gotcha support group. Boo. 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 All 
All right, here we go. Which character has the theme song, Let the Living Beware? Oh, oh, you threw your hands up in the air. <laughs> I, I, I got excited. I know this. Knew it. You I knew this knew one. It. I knew this one. I think, though, Hard Pity is no, going no. to get to answer oh, first. No. Yep, go ahead. Hu Tao. That is. Correct! Yes! Oh! <laughs> yeah, get baby! Oh. I, I listened to this driving! I knew it! Faster! Oh, gotta be faster! <laughs> it's that reaction faster. time training. Now, now, keep in mind, if for, if you got that question wrong, just as an example, as we move forward in this round, just so everybody knows, if if you got that wrong, there would have been an opportunity to steal. Whoever hits the buzzer, after I say it's wrong, it's fair game. Whoever hits the buzzer the fastest, they're going to be able to get it. And also, you know, while it's going on, you can still be talking to your team. So if you do buzz in too fast and get it wrong, you are giving a huge advantage to your opponents. Who tell the correct answer? But let's see what the second question holds. Diona is good not only in bartending. Tell us about her second question talent. Uh, 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 Atsu, I believe you buzzed in first. Yona is also good at hunting. That is the correct answer. God damn, God damn. Team Gotcha Support Group, let's go! Oh, type the question. <laughs> huh? They can hear. Oh, they can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Can, they can hear. They yeah. can? <laughs> you guys can hear this? Why are you talking you, to this? You, you guys can hear, hear, right? Yep. Oh. Yeah, everybody's yeah, they're good to go. They're good to go. Oh, wow, we <laughs> suck. <laughs> you guys you guys also have a tie situation on your hand. Angela, your team is falling behind. <laughs> <laughs> you do have if you want to roll the dice and buzz in super fast here. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna watch out. You can just try to spam the button and take the 20 seconds to figure it out. Oh yeah, let's well, spam. Here we go with 20? the third 20? question. 20. I believe it's 20 seconds, right? Or is it 10? I don't know, I'm really bad at math, but I do know the answer to the next question. Bennett believes that treasure chests usually contain these four things. Which ones? Uh, uh, Wait, you can do that already? Tw 20 seconds, right? 10 seconds! Yeah, yeah 10! That's 30! What? 30? What? I mean, uh, your time is uh, ticking, though. Bennett believes that treasure chests usually Cabbage! Contain. Final answer. You have to name? Three more. more. What? Three more items. More. Mora? I'm ready! Hey, what? I'm still hey. answering. He's still, hey, he's still, still have, whoa, 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 have four whoa, whoa, seconds. Whoa. Those buzzers Radish. are null and void. Radish. Radish, Mora, Cabbage, and <laughs> You apples. guys are out of time. What? I'm not going to say if any of that was right. Atsu, you buzzed in. What four objects? Cabbages, carrots, radishes. Wait, this is the same answer as his, Mora. <sighs> According to my calculations, Mora is not on my list. Uh, is it I, was, me? I, I will check with yeah, the judges. You have all the time in the world now. Right now you I have. Me? Yeah, yep. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, you know, I've done a lot of thinking. I will say, everybody was very close. I believe that it is. <clears throat> um, you know, I have a story. She's stoning for time! Uh, what's going on? I'm, 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 a fan, I'm, a fan of, I'm a fan of good stalling, you personally. Know, uh, one time I was playing my favorite game, oh my Genshin Impact. Four. And I oh, Googling! Oh, 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 I'm getting, I'm getting, this is the... This is the answer that I'm getting. This is the answer that I'm receiving, and I will relay weapons, artifacts, cabbage. So, uh, guys, I have cabbage, vegetables, carrots, and radishes. I have vegetables as what? The what? No, no. Okay. what? That's what I have. We're gonna jump in to. We're gonna jump in to question number four, and also. I believe you have 30 seconds to answer the whole question. I don't think, I, I think I actually misread the rules. You only have, you have 30 seconds total for the question. So if it runs out of time, oh, oh, you can't, yeah, yeah. So that, 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 was, that was a mistake on oh. my end. I am very sorry. I will not make a mistake again. Which element does lupus boreas immune to? 
Angela, that was Whoa! definitely you. Yeah, it was. Um, Animo. Okay, there, there is one. And Cryo. Correct. Oh, that was me! Correct. There we go. I voltage. I voltage. <laughs> I believe Electric. now we do have a tie. Everybody has managed to get one point. And this round is 10 questions long. We're at the halfway mark right now. We jump into that fifth question in just a second and see which of these teams is going to pull ahead. The fifth question is, what is the best place to seek Kaya? Atu, it is you. It is the, <clears throat> what is the name of that tavern again? Oh, what the is it? The Angel Share. You were more specific than you needed to be. The correct answer is taverns slash bars at night. Oh. No. <laughs> I don't think there's any bonus points oh, there, but what's well, okay? I'm well, first well again. Well done. Oh, you man. are back in first place. <laughs> Atsu's ego is getting huge. We gotta burn gotta, down. Hey. Gotta bring you down. Oh, wanna, <laughs> make sure we hit it before he does. <laughs> we are. Don't let him win. Don't let him win. I, I mean, at this point, there are only five more questions left. We are getting very close to crowning our winning team. Sixth question. I actually think the sixth question is uh, well, that you guys will be able to answer pretty easily. So okay. Get, get those buzzer fingers ready. I have a question. Yes. If we buzz while you're reading, will you still read the full question or will you just stop? Oh, oh hell no. No, let him read I first. think you should stop. <laughs> I think you oh, should no. stop. <laughs> I don't know the answer. <laughs> okay. This is why I asked the questions. You <laughs> Which musical instrument does Kazuha play? No way. No way. He is a fast. No way. Say the answer. Say it. You buzzed it. Say uh, it. The answer is the... I'm putting on a performance here because... Say the answer. The name of the Say it. Say it. Hey, you buzzed. Say it. Is Seven. Cut. The leaf whistle or the flute? The leaf whistle is the correct answer. <sighs> Ah, yes! The guy buzzes, doesn't know the answer, just waits for the answer. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, wow, that, that is... Uh, that is the strap. High power. It's high power. Oh, you want to play like that, huh? Let's do it. <laughs> I think it has become a situation of who has the fastest hands. And we're moving on to the seventh question. Who is going to be the fastest? I'm seeing everybody with different buzzer strategies. Some people with hands up high, some people with hands instantly on the buzzer. The seventh question is ready. Vishal is a talented and eccentric investigator from Mondstadt Adventurers Guild. What is her real name? Woo! Angela got it first. What? Amy. Ah, what? Correct <laughs> answer. The correct answer is Amy. High Wait, voltage. Can we get, can we get this? High voltage. Check? V A R. Dude, there's two of us. Come on. One of us has hit. One of us has got to hit it. This is broken. <laughs> okay. Oh no, we're both. <laughs> okay, we got three more questions. Right now, the most stacked team, in theory, an extra player, an extra content creator, <laughs> is falling behind. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see if that changes. Equipment diff. <laughs> Skill diff. <laughs> My pronunciation may be your downfall. <laughs> what organization is Haizo a part of? He is part of. I'm waiting for my very amazing oh. team right now. It is. Ooh, come on. My girl is typing. Typing. Do you like my song? It's Tenryo. The Tenryo. They are still typing. Was that enough commission? That's correct. Oh, oh my goodness. Nobody ever said you couldn't do that. Oh. I never said I couldn't sing. Nobody said that this wasn't a musical episode. Now, there are two questions left. And there's two of us here. And listen. If you get both of them, we have a tie situation. No matter what, press that button. I'll do my best, man. <sighs> What is the animal hypostasis' name? You guys got it! Oh, the name of um, the uh, animal. I know that's Beth. Beth. Beth? It is Beth. It is Beth. That's the correct answer. Yes! It is Beth. <laughs> no, slap it, slap it. I knew that one as well. All right. We may move to a tie situation. 
one question left in this round. You guys need to to get this one quickly. Hey, let's make it interesting. Don't don't, don't give, give me no. Give me your one. <laughs> we're we're together. Are you guys ready? Is everybody ready? Yeah. Yes. You ready? You guys ready? I'm ready. Who was referred to as the nameless yaksha? <laughs> the nameless yaksha. Well, that would be. Mr. Bodacious Bosacious. The correct answer is that. Yes! There's no Bodacious on my sheet, but Please, you got bodacious, it right! Bodacious Bosacious! Now, the question is, amongst these two teams, who oh, came in first? Oh, what about us? Do we have a tie? I'm pretty sure you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I don't have a I'm pretty sure. I don't have to count us out yet. That one. I'm pretty sure that we are counting you guys out. But we do have the team in the back. Who is working on it all right now? I can answer that question for you. Uh, you think you won? I know I won. No. I actually think we're tied. You think that you're tied? Maybe. There, there were some, there were some clutch close. answers there. Yeah, I think we clutched up. I'm pretty sure that uh, they are not doing any math. <laughs> no. I, it all came down to how fast the hands were in a game of buzzer beaten. I, I think we should get these checked. Admins, <laughs> admins, we can get, get someone on this. <laughs> Turned into an eSports <laughs> tournament. <laughs> <laughs> My controller's not plugged in. <laughs> what do you think of your opponents? I think they didn't deserve this. Absolutely not. You know what I will say though? Every single content creator here got carried by the folks at home. <laughs> <laughs> you all buzzed in and waited for everybody at home to type out the answers. And I just say, that last one, they gave me the wrong answer, but I vetoed it and I said bodacious, bodacious. They well, said shout. Well, I, I will say, if you were watching at home and you think you have what it has to hang with the great folks who competed here today, make sure that you do download the quiz app and you can join in in all the fun. And let's get a round of applause for everybody who has competed here today. Fuck. Fuck. But it is time for us to crown our winner. Are they perfect? Maybe they are. Atsu and your team, congratulations. Ah, oh, yes! Atsu, you can join me up here on the stage. You and the Gotcha support group have done it. You definitely had the biggest ego coming into this, Atsu. You've done quite a lot of quiz shows, but how did it feel to actually get to work with a whole bunch of people at home? This is a whole nother level up compared to what I've personally done, so it's been an honor. You've been a fantastic host, and I've been a fantastic contestant, quite clearly the champion. So yeah, and also shout out to my team, who definitely did carry me. Gotcha support group, thank you so much. Do you think if you had to, if you were competing against your team in a free-for-all scenario, do you think you could beat the folks at home? Oh, I have, uh, no, no, I'm humble, I'm honest. So no, I, I think they're all very, very smart individuals. And you know, it, it would be a close contest, but I think I will come out on top, to be honest. Okay, definitely an important thing to, to think about here. Uh, as you were competing against all of the other content creators that you know from Genshin Impact, mm -hmm. did anyone impress you? Mm. Honestly, I was impressed by how bad they were. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, they're Genshin content creators and they didn't put up much of a fight. Now, what do you What'd think? The, what, what do you think some of the hardest questions were? Are, are there any in your head right now where you're like, "Man, that was super difficult"? The ones where I didn't understand your pronunciation. Uh, there were a few. There were, there were a few. few yeah. Where I was like, yeah there, there were some where I was like, "Oh man, <laughs> that, I, 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 clearly, I don't want to say that." Now. I, I was like, I skipped this quest for sure. Like, I skipped, skipped through the story on this quest because I was busy farming up <laughs> artifacts. But uh, besides that, was there like an area where you're like, "This is this was tricky"? That Bennett question. Yeah, the, we all flopped. That Bennett question. Not a single team got it right either, so. Yeah, that I, was a tough one. I think that's one of those questions, too, where anytime you got to answer multiple things all in one go, usually tends to be a little bit tricky. But 
you were just the, the Jing Chu expert. Every single Jing Chu question you got correct. Well, incidentally, I don't really like Sing Cho. But, really? you, know, you know what they say? Keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. So I got lucky, honestly speaking. I got lucky that it was Sing Cho questions. Uh, yeah, you, you, the carrot thing threw me off. That was actually one of those moments where yeah. it was like a little bit too much information. Mm. And I felt like if I tried to answer that, I probably would have gotten it wrong. But you had a full team of folks working with you. They were the gotcha support yep. group. So I do want to remind everybody who is watching for the first time and actually seeing this show in this beautiful studio, everybody who was playing on these teams, all they had to do was download the, the quiz app and sign up before the show started. There are quizzes going on all the time on that app, so you can do the same thing. The first round that we actually did do was uh, essentially how that quiz app is going to look. We had it on the right side of the screen. So you guys can compete. But talking about competition, we are not done here oh. yet. Oh, We have a bonus round. Horse champ. You might have to compete against that very team. I asked you if you thought you could beat the gotcha support group that was playing for home. Now we're going to put it to the test. It is time for our final round, the pyramid. Ooh. Ooh. You can grab a seat as we dive into the action here on the pyramid. So we have everybody playing from home from the gotcha support group. They were a team, but now these friends are playing against each other. If you're at home right now, meet some of our champions. Atsu's gonna be competing against them as well, and here's how it's gonna work. This is essentially a Thunderdome scenario, a Thunderdome situation. We are going to have, for this round, 10 questions. They're trying to build up that pyramid. In theory, if one person was able to get all seven of these questions correct in a row, they would be able to take down the whole kick and boodle. But if everybody is able to keep building this pyramid, to keep building this chain of correct answers, we will have to go to a tiebreaker scenario with everybody so you can kind of see get a feel for this pyramid right now and how we are going to move through it we're going to be asking questions relatively rapid fire but these 10 questions are going to determine who here knows the most about genshin in fact we're going to have questions from every category in the game it's all things genshin is atsu a content creator for the game going to know the most or is it going to be some of the folks at home who signed up using the link in chat that you can do right now to try to win the next one of these. Also, if you do want to grab some absolute free Genshin goodies, all you have to do is use the QR code that's on your screen right now. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I know this is a very unique thing for my stream. We love game shows here, but it's not every day that we get to do Genshin Impact content. You all know how much I love that game and how much I love to play it. So I really do appreciate everybody watching and also everybody who's here, everybody in the back who made it possible, and everybody at We Play who always helps come up with some crazy show ideas in the past and now inviting me to this. So we have one more round to go. Content creator against folks at home. Oh dear. Yeah, the classic, the, the classico. They are locked in, ready for the questions to pop up. I'm excited. Atsu, do you think you have what it takes? I think I'm going to get obliterated, but I'm gonna try my best. And also keep in mind, the way that the pyramid works as well, getting questions right back to back to back is going to be the way to win this. This is probably the hardest format okay. if I had to pick one. The first format was very fast. When we got here, we started off with Survival of the Fittest. If you got one wrong, you were eliminated from the show. Only the top competitors stayed, the top teams, and our four content creators inside of the studio. After that, we got to the Library Guardians where it was content creators versus everybody at home. That eliminated one team because three of the teams were able to get more points than the content creators here in the We Play studio in Los Angeles. After that, we moved to Rush to the Answer, which you just witnessed where we had everybody team up with folks from home who was here. Atsu playing with the four folks behind me on this screen. They were able to beat everybody else, but now it is time for them to go head-to-head -head in a free-for-all to figure out who the OTG really is. 
who knows the most about Genshin Impact. It's just going to be 10 questions to decide it as well. Unless we have to go all the way to a tiebreaker. And the tiebreaker questions are absurdly hard. Like, these tiebreaker questions, you do not want to go to tiebreakers. It, they, they are like the most mathematically difficult <laughs> questions I have ever seen. But we are ready to start off our fourth and final round and see who knows the most about Genshin Impact. Folks, the first question is, which of the following is the correct information about Heat Shield Potion? You are going to have four options here. Withstands high heat, helps the body acclimate to high temperatures. Using Lisa can improve the production results or all of the above. We are talking right now about the heat shield potion. Which of the four options are true? Well, the three options, D would be all of the above. You got five seconds to lock in your answer and we will see who of our five contestants you repeat, was a? able to get it right. A is withstand high heat. The correct answer is D, all of the above. Did you get it correct? Um, yeah, but my app is not working. Oh, oh, okay. So we're, we're, we'll make sure that Atsu is inside <laughs> of the app so Atsu can actually see all of the options as well. And... You can just you can just write it down too, since yeah, since I, we are here I in the studio. I think that that is probably the way to do it, since we are here in the studio. We'll get nice, close, and personal as we get ready for the second question, and see who is going to move up this pyramid. Which of the following is not one of the hydro mimics spawned by the Oceanid boss? I'll keep it. 100p with you? I wish I didn't know the answer to this one. Frog, wolf, squirrel, crane. I know this one in my bones. We got we all know seven this questions. One. We all know, seven know this one. one. Everybody in the studio is shaking their head, knowing the answer. Now, the correct answer is me. Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> it is wolf. That is correct, Atsu. That one was... Uh, that was a freebie. Yeah, that was one that uh, is learned by every every single Genshin player. We're going to be moving to our third question here, and then we'll get to take a look at that pyramid. Which of the following does not drop the item Chaos Core? Which of the following does not drop the item Chaos Core? Ruin Destroyer, Ruin Greater, Ruin Guard, or Ruin Hunter? Ruin Destroyer for A. B, Ruin Greater. C, Ruin Guard. Or D, Ruin Hunter. Which one does not drop a Chaos Core? Time is up! And the correct answer is... Ruin Destroyer? Correct! Yeah! The correct answer is A, Ruin Destroyer. That is it. That one was definitely difficult. That's a that, bit confusing, yeah. Yeah, that was a tricky one for sure. Now... We're, we're getting deep into the pyramid realm. We can take a look at the pyramid shortly and actually see where everybody is. But keep in mind, getting these questions correct back to back to back is going to be the thing that helps us crown our champion. Let's move into that fourth question, though. Who is Zhang Ling's father? Chef Ling, Chef Zhang, Chef Mao, or Chef Wan? Atsu's looking kind of nervous here. <coughs> huh? Only six. Can you repeat A and B, please? Chef Ling, Chef Shang. You are out of time. Write one down. Chef Ling. The correct answer was C. Oh. Chef Mao. Oh. This could be rough for you. We'll have to see what everybody else was able to get. We are at that halfway mark to in our round. We are at the fifth question, trying to figure out who knows the most about the game. You getting nervous? Yes, I, I think I've thrown now. Everybody, everybody behind us is looking pretty happy as well. So we'll have to see as we jump in to the fifth question, which of the following items does Shenha not eat? Not eat. 
So we have four different. Oh, it could be all of the above. We have the glazed lily. I cannot say the first flower. I know what it looks like in the game. Ching Shin. Ch yes, that is correct. Glazed lily and silk flower or all of the above. I had to farm so many of them. Atsu. It's C. Definitely. I wrote that down. The silk flower is yeah, correct. Yeah, the silk flower, yes. Man, I had to farm so many of those flowers. I've never had to say their name. That <laughs> one is on me. I had to farm so many of them. But we had to see who's farming the most points in this round as we have made it to question number six. The correct answer was silk flower, but we are moving in to that next question right now. Keep in mind, everybody playing from home, you could be in this seat in the coming weeks. In which location did the traveler meet Hu Tao? A, Kuju Slope, B, Wu Wang Hill, C, Wang Shu In, and D, Saul Tere. It's A or B, but I'm going with B. Wu Wang Hill. You are correct. <sighs> so good. That was a tough that was, one. That was definitely that was a tough so one. No, we, we still <laughs> have a few more questions Woo! here. Are you going to be able to keep Woo! it going? Oh, my. Okay. I, I, think, I think you're going to get this one. Which character did not participate in the battle <laughs> with the <laughs> overlord of the Vortex, <laughs> Zhao, Kaching, Ganyu, or Beidou? You know this one. Uh, I don't. Wait, can you repeat the question? Which character did not participate in the battle with the Overlord of the Vortex? Can I repeat the answers really quickly? Zhao, Qing, Gan Yu, or Beidou? I feel like they all did. But I'm going to go with Gan Yu. Correct answer is D, Beidou. Huh? She was on the, she was on the ocean. Maybe she stayed there. <laughs> we still have three more questions. You're not out of this yet. Oh, no. <laughs> Where can you find Gene's favorite pizza? The Angel Share, the Good Hunter, the Cat's Tail, or Spring Vale? Three seconds left. I'm done. Good hunter. The correct answer is cat's tail. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh. We might be in a situation oh, where I'm someone in trouble. Oh, I'm it. in trouble. <laughs> Two more questions left. Oh no! Are we gonna have the folks from home coming out on top, or is it going to be Atsu, our content creator, in the studio? Two more questions to decide it. During the Liwa journey, Zhang Li makes a contract to end all contracts. Who was the second side of the contract? The Traveler, the Cryo Archon, the Anemo Archon, or the people of Liwa? We're out of time. Power to the people of Liwe. Oh, oh no. the cryo archon. It's the cryo archon. No way. It's the cryo archon. No. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it's no. looking bad for us too. Oh no. One question left, and then we're gonna take a look at that pyramid and see who has come out on top. The last question is: during the fight with the Valen. What bow does Venti wield as he helps the Traveler break the Skyward Valen? Skyward Harp. It's the Skyward Harp, <laughs> Ammo's bow, the Viridescent Hunt, or the Windbloom Ode. You seemed very confident about that one, and everybody at home is probably very happy that you said it, <laughs> as they have seven seconds left to lock it in. Do you trust Inatsu, or do you think it's a different answer? Is the correct answer is A, Skyward Harp. 
There we have it. 10 questions answered, but we didn't get to see what everybody behind us got correct. Atsu, do you think that one of them may have been able to take you down? I think they all did. You think every single person competing against you beat you? I think they're technically working together to take me down. I, it's a free-for-all. Oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> I let you guys win. I let you guys win. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Just got to throw out the excuses now. <laughs> which, which question? I'm trying to remember which questions you actually... Dude, by the way, man, I could not pronounce that flower. <laughs> what, it's I got not an easy flower to four, farm either. Four, seven, and eight incorrect. So you got six answers correct. Yeah. Just got word from production. So you only got four questions wrong, but it's time for us to find out what our four contestants from home, from the Gotcha Support Group, were able to do. And as we look right now, we have, oh my goodness. Is that a three-way three tie with perfect answers? Huh? Three of our contestants? Huh? How on earth does that even happen? Three of our contestants got every single question correct, taking down Atsu. And that means Put we have a tiebreaker on our hands. And in this tiebreaker, we will probably check every single question to see if anybody is getting eliminated. If you get one wrong, you are out. These questions are not easy at all. I think the first one, the first one might not be the most difficult, but after that, it starts to get real tough real quick. But Atsu, what do you think of everybody at home being able to get so many answers correct? I believed in them. That's why I picked these four people. Th this I always believed. This is a great team. Uh, I, I knew that even though in the first round they came second, they had the whole potential to go the full way. So I always believed in them, and they've just proven my point, which adds into my perfection and foresight. Wow. Yeah. Well, how gracious of you. I know. If you guys want to try to compete <laughs> either against Atsu or with a content creator in the upcoming weeks, be sure to grab the app and uh, be sure to sign up for, for some of the future tournaments. So th this one, of course, had everybody competing from, from the U.S. Uh, any of the states, you could hop in, you could compete, and you could actually get here today. Uh, against or with our content creators for a short period of time. But the next one, which happens in October, is going to be global. And also, we have some goodies for everybody who's watching. I believe there's a code in the chat. I'll make sure, Wajito, if you could spam that. But also, we will have that QR code popping up on the sh screen from time to time. So be sure to grab it while you can and get yourself some goodies. And I just locked myself out of the iPad. <laughs> Help. <laughs> so I locked myself out of the iPad. I'm not going to enter passwords because if I continue to do that, most likely I will get permanently locked out and the next round will not be able to start instantly. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. Hackermans. All right. Well, <laughs> that was not too difficult to get into. Oh. I tried zero, 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 <laughs> zero, zero. I was so close. I'm back inside of the iPad, which means I have the questions and we are ready to get tiebreaker round underway who will stay afloat and who will be eliminated out of our now three contestants we're going to find out very shortly with these first questions as soon as production's ready to roll them we'll get in to the action atsu i'm proud of you i want to be proud of me <laughs> i didn't win well i want to see how many of these questions you know so if you could write them down right. as we go along we're gonna jump in to this tiebreaker round. Let's do it. The first question is, how long does it take for original resin to replenish from zero to 160? Answer in minutes, please. Huh? Minutes? So you have to do math. You have to do math. And you I only got, it. you think you have it? I have it. You got six seconds to check your math. I think this is probably the easiest question out of all of the questions in the tiebreaker. Atsu, what did you put down as your answer? 1,080 minutes. 1,080 minutes. Yeah. The correct answer is 1,280 oh, minutes. Oh, no! 
1,280 minutes. You're getting absolutely cooked even after you were eliminated. Oh, nice. But we have to see who got it right. Production, if you could show us who managed to get it right, if anybody got eliminated from that question, or if we still have all three of our contestants before we jump in to the next one. But yeah, these questions are not going to be easy at all. Where did you mess up your math? Uh, I thought it was 18 hours, but apparently it's not 18 hours. It takes 21 hours to refill. Just slightly off. Yeah, I was... I was I'm, some, I'm, I'm impressed that you were able to do that math. I cannot do math to save the life of myself. I, I literally... I, you could tell me every single variable and I still would have gotten that question wrong. But we were just waiting to see if anyone did get it wrong or if everybody from home is still with us. Whew. Atsu, this next question is brutal. Okay. This is really brutal. I'm, 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 I'm nervous. I'm, wait, I am hearing that we have a winner. Oh. Wait, does that mean that every single person got it wrong except for one? Ladies and gentlemen, do we have our Ochi TG in the first round? We're going to find out right now. Sealy is the winner. Sealy managed to take down the whole thing. Being able to do the math and finding 1,280 minutes to be correct. We had so many content creators here in the arena competing against each other and the people from home. But ultimately, it was somebody at home who was able to take it down. Sealy was able to take down the entire thing. We're going to get an opportunity here to actually meet Sealy, talk to Sealy and find out you know, how the team came together, a whole bunch of things, and actually see the, the mind behind all of these correct questions who took down the Genshin Impact content creators who are here with us today. So I'm very excited to actually get to talk to Sealy about how this team came together. Uh, if you're just tuning in right now to see us crowning our champion, we went through four rounds to get to this place, and all of the people from home who use the app to compete Pete in this quiz show, they were broken up into teams of four. So that's one of the things I'm most interested about. How did the team actually come along? Did they know each other beforehand? Did they talk to each other in a Discord to try to get this together? We're going to be finding all of that out very soon. But I also do want to take an opportunity here to just say thank you to everybody who actually came out to the studio, came out to LA to participate in this with me, and also to everybody who showed up online and, and competed in the show, and all of you who are watching at home. Thank you. Thank you all very much for, for being here with me. Uh, I just got back to, to LA, and I was really excited to, to do the show. So thank you all for being here. Uh, it's been a pretty crazy couple of weeks, and I'm excited for everything that is going to be happening in the coming days as well. So let's find out. The brains behind the operation, the final question in that tie break around was how long does it take for your original resident to replenish from zero to 160? And it managed to knock out that three-way tie in no time at all. Let's actually talk to Sealy. Sealy, it's nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you, Sealy? So I, one of the first questions I actually wanted to ask you was, how did your team come together? Because you, you were on a team of four other players. Did you guys know each other before this tournament yeah. actually started? Uh, yeah, yeah, we knew each other before. Um, we're all part of, uh, well, I am, and one other of my friends is part of a esports club at our university, the just University of Illinois. Urbanian Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So, so you guys knew each other from, from uh, an esports group. How did it feel to actually be able to take down a whole bunch of Genshin Impact uh, content creators? Uh, it feels wild. Uh, cannot believe I am currently here, but I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy. It was awesome to see. Was there, was there like one moment where, did, did you like, when you answered that original resin question, were you like, oh, I won? Like, or did you think that you were still going to have more people to go through? I, I thought I was going to have more people to go through because I don't know. Uh, I guess it's kind of just a math question, but I guess one of my group members just said, she, oh, she just messed up the math in her head. I just I kind of felt bad, but. I mean, it's tough to do math like that on the fly. I mean, obviously you knew the right variables to plug in, but I, I definitely would have messed up the math if I even managed to make it that far in general. Uh, were there any other questions that really stood out to you where you're like, oh my God, I, I know this one and I don't think other people are gonna be able to solve it. 
Uh... Okay, so there was the... In the very first round, there was a question about uh, the bar Baron Bunny, Amber's Baron Bunny. What generation is it? It's 893rd, oh, yeah. and I don't know why I know that, but... Yeah, that, no that was a tough one. <laughs> so what was it like to actually get to compete with Atsu as well before you were all pitted against each other? Uh, it's really strange, kind of surreal. Because, I, I mean, I've watched some of his videos. I've watched a bunch of his videos before. I'm not really, like, used to... Yeah, oh, yeah, we're talking to him. We're talking to, like, a YouTuber. That's, that's really cool. Uh, that that is why have you been playing Genshin since the very start because you do know a whole yes, bunch. Yes, yes, week one, week one. Oh yeah, that, I, I started in week one as well, and it was very clear that you were paying more attention than than I was because your knowledge was absolutely off the charts. I just want to say congratulations. It was really nice meeting you, and uh, one more time, congratulations on your win. Thank you, thank you. All right, everybody, you saw the face of your champion, the OTG. And now, sadly, it is time for us to say goodbye here from the studio. I, I want to say thank you to everybody who made this possible. And I, I want everybody to come to the stage and help me say goodbye. Because today was unlike many days on my stream, we actually had great content. That doesn't usually happen here. Uh, if you guys do want to be kind and follow everybody who's here, it would not be possible without them and it would not be possible without everybody at home. If you want to compete in any of the future weeks, uh, there's going to be a global one coming up very soon. So you can do that right now. The chat bot's going to be going. And yeah, I, I seriously cannot thank you all enough. Thank you guys for being here. Hosting. Hosting. I, I mean, it was pretty crazy to actually see somebody from home able to take you guys down. Chat, we need a clap for Rich. Oh. He was amazing. Oh, he did amazing. Oh, stop, stop. Let's get a clap for everybody in the back, too, who made yeah, this beautiful we, set. Hey, thank it's you so amazing much. here. It, it, it really is something else. Uh, this place is beautiful, and it was a lot of fun to actually do this game show. So be sure to follow everybody's channels. Be sure to check out all of the upcoming stuff. The information is in that chat bot. And we, also, guys, you can get some free goodies as well, too. The QR code, if we can put it up on the screen one more time, and we can make sure that everybody in the chat is uh, linking that as well. But thank you all from the LA studio. It is time for us to go. Thank you for making this show so incredible by joining us in chat. And hope to see you for the next one. <laughs> 07. Bye-bye. <laughs>